I'm a photographer and I'm based in Dublin, but I, the way I've kind of found, or like my journey or my path in photography has been like fairly random. I was really, I was pretty shit in school. I didn't do great. So maybe that's my first failure. But out of that failure, I discovered um, this passion for photography, which kind of came about initially through um, skateboarding. So I got a job um, as a greenskeeper and saved up enough money to buy like an SLR um, film camera and started going and taking pictures um, like this, and which is actually shot in Trinity College over by the library. And um, yeah, we were, security arrived and a fist fight nearly broke out after this was taken. So I hope security don't come in and try and remove me from the building. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was really bad in school, but I discovered photography and through that heard about this PLC course in Sally Noggin um, out near Dunleary. And um, I went for the interview in Sally and Ogden, and stupidly the guy who interviewed me let me know, he knew like he let me know that I got into the course um, before the interview was out. So I entered into the leave insert completely not caring about the leave insert because I knew I'd gotten into this um, PLC. And my plan was um, I'd do this PLC and then apply for the degree in Dunleary or DIT, which really or they weren't even degrees. I think they were diplomas. There was no degree at the time. And then my plan was to do this portfolio course and through that build up enough of a like a kind of strong body of work to get into this um, degree. And I think I don't know whether it was just ignorance or really young, but um, being 18 and really kind of like cocky, I thought my work was great and I was convinced I was going to get in and I didn't. So I therefore was kind of not forced, but I heard about this degree in Newport in Wales, which is a degree in documentary photography. So. Yeah, I didn't get into this um, to like, I, I wasn't educated in Ireland really at all, apart from the PLC for all my photographic work, but it was kind of like, it was just a blessing in disguise and, and that's what this whole kind of first slide is about. It's just like trying to use all these setbacks to your advantage. And I mean, the obvious route for me would have been to go to Dunleary or DIT, but in retrospect, it was kind of like, yeah, it was just a total blessing in disguise and probably the best thing to happen to me was not getting in there, so fuck you guys. Okay. Um, okay, so second point is, yeah, allow yourself to fail in other people's eyes. Um, yeah, AKA the fuck you approach. Um, so what I mean by this is, like in simple terms, you can't please everyone all the time and all that stuff, but I think it's really important, and this is just isn't about photography, this is about life in general, or design, or whatever you want it to be, but um, it's really, really important to kind of like listen to your good feelings, because they, they're there for a reason, and usually it's, um, yeah, usually it's really important, like usually it's really hard, because obviously sometimes like the easy path, or like the most obvious route, isn't always the right one, and you get these niggling feelings that you're doing something, and you're putting all this time and energy into it, but it's just at a point where it's not working which was um, where I was when I took this photograph. And I was working, I did my degree, then I went to London and worked for loads of skate magazines, and which was in itself was like a huge, I couldn't believe that I was working for, like taking pictures of skateboarding and getting paid to do it. It was amazing. It was a far like cry from getting kicked out of Trinity for skating here. And um, anyway, I went and did a master's in Belfast and started doing this project about Cherry Orchard out near Ballyfermot. And, I met these group of kids and started working on it for probably nearly the bones of a whole, the first year of the masters, I was um, making pictures like this. And when we came to the break of the first year of a two years, uh, it was a two year MFA and I was doing it in University of Ulster. And um, I was studying under photographers like Donovan Wiley, who's one of the most successful Irish photographers, is represented by Magnum Photos and, and also people like Paul Seawright. So they were artists who I'd really looked up to and they were essentially my course tutors and they really liked this work and at the end of the first year I had this niggling feeling and it was kind of like breaking up with someone but I, um, I bit the bullet and decided to stop doing the project after investing all this time and energy and to go back to this idea I had for a project that was back to kind of my connection to skateboarding and it was to do this body of work that was called DIY that was all about homemade skate parks so I wanted to make these landscape photographs of these locations, which are um, skate parks that are built kind of off the beaten track that skaters build themselves. And um, yeah, so I, and everyone gave out shit to me and they told me I was mad. And I really nearly went back to the Cherry Orchard project. But that summer I 
and I was lucky enough that I was busy with commercial work and I got a few jobs that sent me to the States. So while I was there, I started making all this work. And then when I came back to the second year, I kind of had like a, not, like a lot of this work together. And then long story short, in a weird chain of events, I ended up exhibiting some of it in an exhibition in Paris. And then a publisher saw it there and offered me a publishing deal. And then I got a book deal and it all worked out great. And I was able to show it to the tutors and go, fuck you. So, <laughs> but no, they were really nice. They were really good and they were super supportive. So yeah. So the, my last kind of point I want to make is just about, um, yeah, embracing failure. And I know this is a really obvious quote and it's kind of, yeah, you know, everyone says this, but it's so, like, it's so true. And I think it's something that really gets, like, you know, people like get really scared of making mistakes. And I think it's one of like, it's just, it can kill any ideas or like it can kill so many projects where like before you've even started, like you're finding a million reasons why you can't do something. So I just wanted to relate my experience of failure, which is always not all, like when you're in the middle of failure, it's horrible and you feel like you're useless and you're just a waste of space. But overall, my experience of failure has been um, in the end, it's always really good. And, and I link that back to me and my experience as a skateboarder where through skateboarding, I mean, you, it just becomes normal to be falling all the time, which is essentially failing. But then the thing that's really, like, really important about skateboarding is you just get so used to falling that picking yourself back up afterwards is completely normal as well. So I think by channeling all that energy into my photography, I've been really lucky where even though I've had horrible situations like this, which is me falling off a skateboard, probably having the worst slam I've ever had, um, yeah, it's worked out well and I've channeled it into my photography and um, yeah, things are going good. So even though I'm a failure in loads of ways, I'm really, really grateful. So thanks.